What's going on guys? No, no, just checking in with a quick video regarding testosterone replacement therapy. If you would like to know why I'm on TRT, please feel free to read the description below. It edifies me and it's probably gonna better your life. Um, I'm just kidding, sort of, maybe not. Let's see. So, I take testosterone stipionate. I do 200 milligrams a week and I get a 10 ml bottle of testosterone stipionate every two and a half months, which equals out to be roughly four and a half, five times a year. Um, and people ask me all the time, how much does testosterone replacement therapy cost? I've written it so times in messages I don't know why I haven't made a video about it but I don't want to uh, lollygag I spend $30 every two and a half months filling my prescription I obviously by that you can tell I have insurance which I'm very grateful for but what's important to know here is that even if I didn't have insurance that testosterone sipping a 10 ml bottle which I have right here the bottle the case looks like so and the bottle looks like this. Uh, this 10, 10 ml bottle would only run me $109 cash out of pocket. Every two and a half months, so what are we looking at? Like 220, 440, like what, $500 a year for testosterone sapienate, even if you didn't have insurance? That to me is a bargain. I don't see that being a lot of money. If you're like me, you waste way more than 500 a year on some random bullshit you don't need. So if you happen to be uh, needing testosterone, if you've had that verified via blood draw and a host of symptoms that are probably screwing you over right now, $500 a year roughly for testosterone sipionate um, made by Watson is not that big of a deal. But I am grateful for my insurance. I'm grateful that I only have to spend, what, like $150 a year. So I, I'm one of the fortunate ones in that way. Thank you, Job, for providing me that insurance. The other most common testosterone supplement that people take, I don't know if that'd be the way I'd word that. Anyway, people go through androgel. A lot of people don't like injections. Maybe they just feel it's uncomfortable. They're afraid to do it for themselves. They're afraid of the injection. Whatever your reason is, it's all good. It happens to be my preferred way of taking testosterone, um, which I made a video about. But if you're an androgel person, you like the idea of applying a pump and just rubbing some gel on yourselves, that is an option. But androgel is very expensive. Expensive. I couldn't tell you exactly what it would be if you had a prescription, but I'm pretty sure mine would roughly run me $50 a month, something like that. But if you buy Androgel out of pocket, it is $471 per bottle. I believe that's monthly, but go to their website and double check. Of course, I think that depends on what your dosage is, but I think that's about what that would be. Forgive me if I'm wrong there. The bottom line is, it's a lot more expensive. There are ways to get testosterone through compounding pharmacy, so talk to your doctor about that if neither of these two options seems like a good one for you. Um, but in my book, to keep it simple, if you need testosterone, you're low, you know that, and you don't have insurance, and you can get over the injection aspect of it, which is not a big deal. I always tell people, I liken it to this, the pain of having low testosterone dwarfs dwarfs the pain of an injection. There's a lot of different options for testosterone replacement therapy. Those are two of just the most common in my opinion. Do your research, call the pharmacy, talk with your doctor, see what it's gonna cost you, um, and just figure out what's best for you. A lot of it has to do with preference, but if cost is ever a factor, you know my, I'm pretty sold on the testosterone cypionate. Very cost effective, obviously a very powerful hormone if you need it, and I'm super grateful that um, I'm able to, to get it at the cost I'm able to get it at. Take good care, we'll do another video soon. Leave in the comments below, what other topics of testosterone replacement therapy do you guys want to see for me. I have to admit lately for like the first time ever, I'm kind of slightly running out of ideas for what to talk about with testosterone replacement therapy. I know that there's a world of things I can talk about. I have a couple, but I would love for you guys to get my brainstorming uh, going for me. So leave it in the comments below if there happens to be something you would like to talk about. Feel free to look back at old videos if you have questions about TRT, especially questions regarding to my therapy. I've done a lot of videos over the last couple of years. Maybe you'll find something. Otherwise, I hope you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, hang in there, be brave. You can get through this one day, one hour, one minute at a time. Take care, guys.